I'm testing a new theory that you could use leverage to uh, break out from one gate to another. This particular gate, I'm going to end up tearing apart or scaling down because the card gets trapped inside of the gate. Strength is on the end and at the entrance. I need something that will have a push all the way through in order to test this properly. Uh, see, scaling it down gives it a push all the way through. But this is still not strong enough for what I'm uh, shooting for here. This is the simplest way I've come up with to break out of one gate and go into another. Use leverage. Magnets on this side are out much further than the magnets on the other. This obviously is for balance here. If you shield the entry point of each of the gates Basically, the way this works is really simple. You just put the magnet on the uh, rotor into the attraction of the first gate, and it pulls it all the way through the second. And it's just leverage. Nothing complex about it. It's the simplest thing in the world. If you designed this properly for a rotary magnetic motor, you could get past all the flux loops and the problems with the magnetic fields leveling out. Like I said, it's very simple. Nothing complex about it. Another way to demonstrate this, I have a couple of gates over here, one over here. There's a cart with magnets on it on this side with a leverage bar. On this side, there's a similar cart. You just line this up in the magnetic field here. And the leverage causes it to push through the secondary gate. Again, there's nothing really complex about this. All I'm doing is using leverage to pass from one gate to the next. I'm not certain why I've never seen anybody else attempt this. It's uh, really not that difficult to do. And of course, designing this to work with a rotary track will be a bit more complex, but the principle is the same.
thanks for watching.